All right, so these two from Japan, direct, cost a little bit more, but you get it in a few days. Or oh, DHL, actually. DHL, FedEx. Actually, DHL is a little bit quicker. So these I got at random. I wasn't really buying anything, but they were so cheap at auction, nobody bid on them. So I bought them. Yeah. And one of the reasons is I never had any of these as the Japan model. Yeah, well, see, you'll see what they are in a minute. We'll, we'll keep a little uh, suspense for a few minutes here. And you can see what they are. So I got three sets of them and nobody bid on. Well, there's was actually four sets, but I didn't get the fourth one because I gave up on that bid. That was enough. I didn't really want to buy more. So... I don't have any games for them, however, I may have a different version of game I can use for it. We'll have to find the, we'll have to find the game. So this is, this is a, I've got the Japan versions of just about every system. PS1s, PS2s, those you need, you need that so that you can play the, the Japan games. Uh, Wii's, I have Japan GameCubes, and I have games of, for those as well. This one I did not have yet. And then after that, I think after it starts becoming region free, like PS3s, PS4s. I have a, yeah, I have a PS, I have a Vita. That's Japan, but I believe it's region free. So this, I couldn't pass this up. I was looking for something else. But even though these are Japan, I can still use them. Because the parts are in change. And these are Japan we use. Ooh. How fun is that? Never had any. Now I got some. And I got white ones too. Because I've got some really cool white. Um, I've got a, a US. So there's always a reason why I do stuff. Or I just do it because it's fun. I have a USA on one of these where the buttons are all yucky. But these are nice shapes. And nobody bid on them. I mean, I just basically paid for the shipping, which was expensive, but well worth it. Fun. So I got three. I think I got three sets of two. I think I did. Of course, it's nice to pack three. And these are as parts, untested, so this is a certain thing that, a couple things in these that I'm really, really interested in. And the main thing is this front plate. I sell them all the time. So it doesn't matter if it's Japan because it's still the same front plate. And then there's a cable that connects this front plate to the motherboard. And I, I've sold out all of those, so now I have more. So that's that's really only two reasons I bought these. And those two pieces would pay for what I paid for this if I sold every one of them. So that's the way I look at things. How, what can I sell off of something that will pay for what I paid for this? And then maybe make some money down the road. But everything for me is based over time. It doesn't happen. Right away, it could be years before I actually get the money back for what I paid for these. But again, most of it was for shipping. I hardly ever paid at all for the. I mean, like the auction was ten bucks, and, and nobody bid. <laughs> no, I can't let those go for ten dollars. Plus, you know, it's twenty-five a pop to ship them. So. Sometimes I can get a discount, but I wasn't able to. It was just such a low. Nobody wanted it. But I mean, I've never had a Wii U Japan. So everything in the Wii U, just like a Wii, just like the GameCube, just like all the Japan, Nintendo, everything's the same, same except for the motherboard. So all these disk drives in here, I can take these out and put it into a USA and it'll work play USA games. It's the motherboard talent. So I also have disk drives now on these as well. Covers. Except for the bottom cover that would say Japan. 
But besides that, I bought so much stuff over the years from Japan. They used to do the slow boat. The slow boat from Japan where I think I did a couple times. It took three months to get something. Like a big they used to do three months to get like a big load of game cubes. Literally on a slow boat in Japan. But they don't do that anymore. They stopped doing that after COVID. No more slow boats. I always try to ask, hey, can I get a slow boat? No. This is what I ended up with today. Oh, and this is always fun too. Alright, so, so this is. Okay. Oh, this is always fun to sell. One, two, I have two. More pretty cool. I'm a big fan of the white, although white's only eight gigabytes. I'm gonna change now. They have a nice white one. I'm gonna change the case to. Yeah, see, it'll say Japan, JPN. Oh, oh. So this is a bonus right here. This is 32 gigabytes in white. See, Japan always has the better stuff as well. The Japan white is actually 32 gigabytes and not USA 8 gigabytes. That one's 32 gigabytes too. Huh. So that's actually a triple bonus right there. Cool. Alright, so I guess I have that one. And all of this should play in Japan. And what I was saying when I first started this is I don't have any Japan Wii U games at all. However, I have many Japan Wii games that should play in these. So, I can at least test the drive with a Nintendo Wii Japan. Or take the drive out and put it into... Um, the USA one. Oh, this is, this is, this is fun. I like that. Advertisement from Japan. How cool is that? That's the fun stuff I like. This is what I'm all about. Little Japan. I have no idea what any of it says. They, their lines go up and down. This way. As opposed to this way. Someday, hopefully, I'll get an AI. Personal AI assistant who can help translate something like this. Hey, AI Joe, what, is, what does this say? And I'll put it over there and then AI Joe will read it for me and tell me what it says. Read the newspaper in Japan. That would be pretty cool. So that's a little Japan action. So that proves that I can't read it. Yeah, all the best systems are from Japan. Because that's where they originally come from anyway. So, good example PS2 Slim has a white model. The orange GameCube is Japan. And lots of the other fun ones. So 32, these are all 32s as normal. So I don't think they had 8 gigabytes. They just gave us the white 8, eight gigabytes for some reason. I don't know why we have 8. And I'm sure there's a way I can modify it. Make it region free again. So that's another fun thing. I haven't done any sort of. I have lots of uh, Wii's that just came to me with homebrewed and all that fun stuff. None of these I've done for USA or now or Japan. But we're gonna learn down the road sometime. So now I can cross it off my bucket list. Japan Wii U's, and again, like I said. Shockingly, what I paid for these. It was, it was amazing. It was super clean, too. Nobody wanted them. To me, Wii U is so much better than Nintendo Switch. I'm a huge fan. Not many games, but... Breath of the Wild is one we really need to play. Maybe Mario 3D. Alright, so here we go. Now we're 
And my next step off the edge would be to fire them up. So I got all of these for so cheap I could do it coming from Japan. Look how clean they are. <clears throat> I can use every part in this. Except the board. I don't know, I guess it, I'm sure this will be a Japan the, the screen. But I have seven USA Wii's. We use tablets that work and maybe a few of them don't. But now I have screens. I can take the screen off. I can, there's a Wi-Fi board in there that's worth something. It would be the same. One thing would be different would be the board itself. Here. Same with the same with these. Everything else is exactly the same except for the motherboard. So that gives me another but this is even better because I've got nice new buttons now. Ooh. I like the white. Now it's 32 gigabytes, so I'm gonna figure out how to region free one of these ones. Yeah. Alright, so I've got a fun little pickup. I'll try to get some fun when I can. All right.